All right, <clears throat> good afternoon. Me and Patriot are hanging out. We're gonna we're gonna test the uh, the new generator on the RV. I've got the uh, I've got the 50 amp cord plugged in. Okay, and that's into my generator plug. Remember, this is for sure power. Okay. Now, <clears throat> even though they're the same exact plug, okay, both this one and that one are the same plug, this one goes through my line conditioning. So when I'm plugged into utility power from the uh, power company at a campground or whatever, it goes through this uh, surge protection system. And then it goes into my, my transfer switch. This one right here is coming from the generator, okay? That one's coming down, coming down, and it finds its way to the tongue where the, uh, where the generator plug is at. Okay, um, why that is is in uh, previous videos. But I've got my solar panels going, I've got my charge controller going. And I'm not hooked into shore power. And I just did a uh, screenshot of the uh, of where the state of my batteries and everything. I'll put that in this in this video. Okay. I've got my propane, which is my uh, fuel source, and. got what they call a dog bone okay because that right there has to plug into that right there so as you can see this is a three prong so plug this into here okay so that's plugged into there and now that over there. All right. I'm going to plug this into this. Okay. All right. So that's good to go. Everything's good to go. I've got my propane turned on. Put my start button. going to happen you're going to see there's no lights on there and there's shore power there okay the reason there's shore power is because it's being powered by the inverter coming from the batteries but watch in about five ten seconds that's going to switch to generator watch see generator power watch what happens As soon as the generator gets up to uh, max watts or whatever it does, this automatic transfer switch is going to recognize that. There it goes. Okay. As you can see, I've got power to my 110. Plug it in the fan. Okay. few minutes my battery charger right here is gonna kick on I'll bet okay I'm now gonna turn on I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner I'll set it to 80 
I'll turn this off. I don't know if I have the, uh, I don't know if I have the generator in. <coughs> I may have the generator in economy mode. Let's go see. Okay, good morning, good morning. I'm up here on the roof and I'm working on the air conditioning. And this right here, this unit, I'm getting ready to install. It's the Micro Air Easy Start, okay? And what this is going to do is allow me to run this air conditioner with my with my generator okay and I've got some other videos that I'll attach to this one but what I'm gonna do right now is wire the easy start system into the wiring on the air conditioning system so let me get a little further along and I'll be back Okay, I've got all my wires connected, spliced in over into the compressor. I've just got the unit sitting here right now. I'm not gonna close everything up until I test it. Um, there's a, <clears throat> there's a five-step test that I have to do before, before you hook the generator to it. And that is you gotta run, cycle it through the, uh, shore power five times for five minutes each until until the uh, until the easy start system programs itself so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now and I'll be back okay I've got I've got all my wires tightened up I've got my my box secured. I've got uh, cover put back on over while the styrofoam cover. Now I'm getting ready to put the cover back on. Screw it back on. I've already run through the uh, five test uh, phases. I've started the air conditioner with the generator. As a matter of fact, the generator is still running. And I'll go, I'll put this. Uh, I'll put the cover back on and then I'll go downstairs and show you how it works. This is a very cool thing. All right. I guess while I'm up here, I'll go ahead and uh, show you. I've got the cover back on. Here's all my wires for my, uh, my solar panels. This is 500 watts. Each panel is 100 watts. And cover back on. It's got four screws that hold it. Uh, these are my sewer vents for my black, uh, that one's for my gray tank. That one's for my black tank. And you'll see they spin around depending on which way the wind goes. And they really, they really work good. That's my refrigerator vent. And that's my uh, ceiling fan vent cover there's another one down there so I've got the awnings out I'm uh, gonna go down now and uh, mess around with the generator you can hear it's still running maybe and uh, it's very quiet and uh, I'm gonna mess around with the air conditioner all right I'll be back Okay, I'm inside the RV. The air conditioner is running. Uh, I've got it set to auto on 80 degrees. And the generator is turned off and shore power is unplugged. I'm running that air conditioner on solar and from my batteries. Okay. Um, I shot a screenshot of the voltages that it's pulling out. I'll put that before this video so you can kind of see it and then maybe I'll put it afterwards. 
Okay, um, and now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch from my batteries to my generator. So remember, I've got this thing. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot another screenshot of what the battery system looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so with a few second delay, the generator kicked in and it's now powering the, the RV. Looks like I'm gonna get rid of, get some rain, so I gotta put all this crap back inside. So let me do that. Uh, through the generator, super quiet. Sure power, some plug. So you'll see that the generator LED light is on, so the power is coming from the generator, which goes into our main panel, which comes down here and powers the generator. Now, you see the you see the shore power. You see the shore power? I'm gonna kill the generator. Watch what happens. immediately switches over to shore power. Air conditioner didn't even burp. Didn't even burp. All right, let me get this stuff cleaned up because uh, yeah, it does look like it wants to rain. At least get the stuff that can't get wet. All right, I'll be back. All right, I've got everything cleaned up. Put the generator away. The uh, got everything put away. Battened up. We did have a little bit of rain there, but I suspect more will be coming soon. Um, so I got everything. Everything's put away. Everything's battened up. All right. So what we did today was install a Micro Air Easy Start 364, which I don't have the uh, proper test equipment as far as meters are concerned to show just how much amp draw at the onset of turning the unit on, the, uh, the AC on. But I'm gonna venture to guess that it's in the 40 to 60 amp range. And even though it's only for a few seconds, it was that was enough for the generator to not uh, engage the uh, compressor on the air conditioner. So we've solved that problem and I'm gonna suspect that it's somewhere, somewhere below 30, but probably more around 17 amp draw which is perfect because that um, that's perfect for it to, to start up. Now, I disconnected the shore power and the generator, shut the generator off, and I was running my air conditioner on for uh, running right off the batteries. Um, now keep in mind when you do something like that you're going to run your batteries down probably in a few hours depending on your you know what your solar setup is uh and i didn't have my wind turbine on but there's a potential that if i had the wind turbine on and the solar going <coughs> that i might get a day probably not but half a day uh, of ac so uh you know, as time goes on, we'll test it in various situations, but the main thing was getting the air conditioner working with the generator. All right, I'll be back. Okay, see that pool? I've been on top of that trailer all morning putting that microwave uh, soft start kit on, and I am hot as hell. So I'll be enjoying the pool here in about 10 minutes once I finish 
putting this video together and get it to start uploading. Um, that's Apollo. He's a schnauzer. And there's our Patriot boy. And uh, so anyway, yeah, so I got to tell you, I'm extremely excited. That took me took me about an hour to install that thing anybody could do it it's not it's not rocket science um i read the instructions uh, at least a dozen times uh, watched two videos one from the manufacturer on how to install it i found the model uh, ac unit that i had and it had pictures uh the wiring diagrams i mean everything so you know it's just very very simple um and I don't care who you are, if you have a rooftop AC, you need to invest in this thing because it 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 just it, my battery system now functions to 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 run my air conditioning. And again, not that I'm going to be doing that, but it can. I mean, I've got a 6,000 watt. Um, it's a 3 6 uh, thousand watt, 6,000 watt surge. Um, uh, inverter which you'd think would would handle that but it, it won't um but now with the soft start you know on there that surge that amp surge is just not there anymore um anyway so look into it it's the micro air uh, easy start i bought the 364 i think there's a 368 etc but all right let me get this video uploaded and uh don't forget to visit uh, GinaVince.com. I've got all these videos there. I've got my reviews. Uh, uh, basically everything I've done to the trailer. GinaVince.com. All right. Have a good day and we'll talk to you soon.